years ago, very close to the Olympic team, fourth in the 800, fifth in the 1500. He would talk about you being the next coming. Tough pressure, isn't it? In the 1500 meters. How do you bridge that gap? And you, you ran a great 3000 in Seattle, and now you're coming down to 1000 to get ready for Milrose. So what are your expectations in the 1000? Oh, it would always help to have the microphone turned on. Um, come in. I'll adjust the sound. There you go. Yeah, coming in to this meet, uh, I don't have much expectations. I'm just excited to get on the track and run something fast. Um, it's always good to watch the four by mile and everything. So I'm just, ex I'm just excited to be here. Oh, come on! I want more from you than that. <laughs> So, um, 3.53 is your PR in the... Yeah, you don't know where that likely. 3.53 for the mile. Um, what do you have to do now to, to bridge to that next level? Um, yeah, I mean, we watched Chesrek break 3.50 last year. You watched and, it? Yeah, I watched that. And then uh, we have... I, I have a... Sorry. <laughs> I have another teammate named Yomif Kajelka. He's actually at Milrose this, uh, coming up in, in two weeks. And that guy can run like 3.47 for the mile. So anytime I can hop in a session with him, uh, I am. But we'll see. I mean, three, sub 350s, like only three people have ever done indoors. So four actually. But, uh, so when you saw that he was a he was a relatively late entry, what was going through your mind? Oh dear, you went. I was, I was um, kind of pissed actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's usually uh, all Americans and then Nick Willis, you know. But now we have an Ethiopian in there. And, we have to deal with that, but... <laughs> so what's he got that you haven't? Genetics. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess we're all on a level playing field in, in reality, but uh, he, he's lived at altitude his whole life, and I mean, trained at altitude his whole life, so I don't know. Do you do workouts with him? Uh, every once in a while, yeah. He's, he does a little bit longer distance. He's a 5K guy, for anyone who doesn't know, um, and I'm a 1500 guy, so... When we can cross over, we do, but not that often. What's the workout you really hate doing as you prepare for a race? <laughs> you know, you, when your coach says you've got to do this, you go, oh. Yeah. What is that workout? Uh, basically, anything over a mile sucks. So uh, we do like five mile tempos. It's just, you have to, it's just so boring. You're running 20 laps around a track, you know? Oh, you could come for the indoor marathon. <laughs> <Another Yeah. year. laughs> Imagine that, 211 laps. God, that's crazy. <laughs> so, what's the best workout? What's the workout you really love when he says this? Oh, I want to do this one. I'll show him. Yeah, um, so the other day we actually did a really sick workout. Um, it was me and Donovan Brazier. <laughs> He's actually getting in really good shape now. And we did uh, 600, 400, 300, 200. And uh, the 400 was like 50 seconds. Uh, the 200s were like 24, and then the 300 was 37 seconds. And I mean, anyone who knows who Donovan Brazier is, he's pretty fast. So I was just trying to keep up with him the whole time. And I mean, it turned out to be an awesome workout, and I'm still sore from it. So we'll see how the race goes. I saw you doing a, a loosening workout. Did that go all right this morning? Yeah, that went all right. I mean, I didn't have 12 eggs before, but. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have for breakfast? <laughs> um, you, you, a cup of tea or something, you know? A cup of tea? <laughs> yeah. You've got to be careful what you say here because Weldon Johnson from Let's Run .com is here. I can see him here, and I'm sure he's taking lots of notes on this. So um, expect to look at Let's Run tomorrow and see his interpretation in his press conference. Yeah, I didn't say anything too bad. No, no, you were, well, one word maybe, but that's okay. Um, so the thousand. Do you have any idea what sort of time you're looking for? Do you what, what, what you're going to go through sort of uh, 800 in? Yeah, I'm, um, I saw the Pacers going through in 52 seconds. Um, that may be a little quick for anyone who's a new director and listening right now. But it's over there. Where is, where is Ray? He's right over there. Look. You'd like a little slow? I'd, I'd like to go through in 150, just for the okay. 800, and then close in whatever we can. I know the American record's 216, um, and I mean, it doesn't seem too far off, but we'll just see how the race goes, because a lot of times people just sit and kick, and that's what I'm best at, so... <laughs> Um, if you weren't a professional athlete, what career would you follow? Jeez, I'd probably be homeless right now, to be fair. <laughs> um, I'd just be traveling with Billy the Toad over there. 
I've never heard him called a toad before, but I'll make a note of that. Yeah, I don't know. I actually, I'm, I really like alternative energy, so I'd do something with that. But what's alternative energy? Can you explain that? Yeah, like Jamaicans so won't know what the hell that is. <laughs> like solar energy and like wind power and stuff. Okay, how will the moustache handle that? <laughs> how long have you had that moustache? Um, I've been going for like a month now, I guess. Okay. But every time we're in like a training gap, I'll shave it so that I look like a decent human. No offense to anyone with mustaches. <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot. Um, let's go to 